Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time. Um, 415 2019, right? On the, uh, this is uh, Yahud, Yahuda Israel. Also, this is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the evening scripture study again on the uh, 15th day in April 2019. Let's get back in it. I'm still in the same state that I was in. Aria, what's up, young lady? Um, oh, what's up, young lady? Um, how you doing, Aria? Uh, Romans 12. Still the same vein that I was in. Um, and so we're going to rock. How you doing, Nicole? Miss Robinson, good to see you on. Um, yep. Th thanks for hanging out with us, uh, this evening, Ari. I know you'd be real busy. Uh, Donna, that's the, uh, trainer I was telling you about. Uh, a lady speed doctor. Lady speed doctor. Fantastic. She's improving speeds and all that. Love to hook, uh, Mecca. Mecca and her up. Food for thought. Wonderful young lady, Donna. Wonderful young lady. Track star herself. So, yep. All right, let's dive into word, y'all. <clears throat> Romans, Romans 12. Um, 12 and 1. Look what it say. No, let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you. Thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Homies, we know how. Um, trusting you at your word. Believing you for your word. Ask you to forgive us for all sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Um... And uh, bless us with the truth of your word. We're depending on you and we trust you. In the master's name of Yahushua HaMashiach, that's when we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. Here we go. Romans 12 and 1. Look what it says. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yah. It's hard for me to get past that. How you doing, Jackie? But listen, look, it says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yah. That you present your body to live in sacrifice. That is so deep. Because we've been talking about um, the Most High doesn't accept all sacrifices, right? And he actually led by example, right? Because he became the requirement. The requirement in the Old Testament was anytime you sacrifice anything to Yah, it had to be your best. According to your financial situation according to you know your 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 status it and it had to be your best right without spot wrinkle blemish or any such thing i don't care what type of of sacrifice it was all the way down to some flour if you was heck of broke you brought your flour <laughs> but you gave you know your your absolute um uh best right okay and when you establish that type of dedication that type of respect to him, that type of reverence to him. That's the standard, right? So he was all leading us somewhere. He was leading us towards the thought that he's going to give us his best. All the way down to labeling the sacrifice he would give for us would be his son and his only begotten son. His son, you can't, what? My son? That's the heir to his throne. A man's son is the heir to his throne. His namesake. Love daughters. There's nothing wrong with that. I just want to teach the lesson properly, y'all. So a, a daughter, when she get married, she take on her husband's name. So whoever his daddy is, is beating his chest because his name goes forward. And then their, their children is tagged with his name, his fame, right? When you have a son, he's the heir to your throne, to your legacy, and he's the carrier of your name. Hmm. And he gave him, the heir, to the throne. Gave him to live the perfect example and to down a tree for our sins. You can't get no better than that if you, if you really meditate on how he felt about us, right? He gave us a glimpse in, in Abraham, you know, having him offer his son. And all with that thought of solidifying what he would do 
he then killed that thought because you had like the Canaanites, the, you know, them them wicked people, the ones he ended up cursing, one of, one of Ham's sons. They they would sac they would offer up uh, 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 children uh, to Molech, like burn them, you know, some idol worship, some evil stuff. And, and so what he did was he, he, he exemplified that and, and he killed that evil, wicked practice by lining up Abraham to do it. And then when he was going to do it, he stopped him because he's not into that. And he proved that then I'm not into that. But what I am into is you not putting anything above me before me, including your son, because you're not going to be a good father to your son if you don't put Yah first. We don't know how to love like that. We don't know how to walk in that level of selflessness. <laughs> so we got to put the most high first in order to be a good father, a good husband, wives, a good wife, a good daughter, a good friend, a good whatever it is. You can't. We're we come from a fallen nature, messing around with Adam and Eve. So Yah is the standard. And he's so much the standard that we needed to be rescued, and he was hinting towards it. Then when it came time for the rescue, the word was made flesh. Remember? In the beginning was the word. Y'all can not one, y'all. In the beginning was the word. The word was with y'all, but the word was y'all. 14 verse 8. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. How was it made flesh? He was born of a virgin. The word was made flesh, became a human being. And being found fashioned as a man, he humbled himself. Became a, a, a obedient on a death, even the death on that tree, on that struos. They called it a cross, y'all. Huh. So he said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of Yah, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Okay, so we're the living sacrifice now. And in, in the state of mind we have, it is that dedicated mind of the Messiah. The dedicated mind of the Messiah who offered himself as a sacrifice that we might be saved. Because somebody had to stand for mankind. Somebody had to stand in the gap to be the model man. Or else the species mankind is doomed. You wonder why the world is like it is and wicked people is um, governing it. You wonder why? The, 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 the world is in this state because of sin. The fallen state of man has ruined this place. Had we obeyed Yah, this place wouldn't be like this. This is a heck of a place to live in. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, this, this place is the shadow of death. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know who's going to die, how, and when. It's a wicked place. And it's because of sin. So he came, gave himself. Gave his natural life that we might live. And he gave his best because the Most High, the, the Mashiach, presented his body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable on the Yah. He came in the volume of the book to do uh, the Most High's will. Yahuwah, Yah, to do his will. And his will was to rescue us. The believer. He's making the difference between the unbeliever and the believer. And anybody can believe if they choose to. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hmm. So now he's begging us. He did it. He passed the baton to us. Saul, they call him Paul, y'all. Said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy. It's by his mercy that we're able to present ourselves. We was born with spots, wrinkles, blemishes. Everybody was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. From our mother's womb, we're a fallen species. So it's by his mercies that we're able to present our body. How in the world you going to take a sinner's body and we was born with blemishes and he ain't going to accept no sacrifice with a blemish? How in the world... How in the world are we going to present our bodies a living sacrifice? Remember, he said, I'm not accepting sacrifices that ain't perfect. I'm not accepting it. Didn't we read that in Leviticus? I'm not accepting it. It ain't going to happen. So in order for us to present our bodies a living sacrifice, it's by his mercy. And we be running around here thinking we doing him a favor. 
I'm doing him a favor if I stop smoking, cussing, and lying. Holding grudge. I, I'm doing him a favor if I don't be a glutton. I'm doing him a favor. It's more than them small sins, y'all. I'm doing him a favor. No, you're not. You're doing yourself a favor. And it's by his mercies that will enable you to present your bodies a living sacrifice. Now, the key in presenting your body a living sacrifice is by his mercy that you do it. But you got to want to do it or it ain't going to get done. You're going to have to want to do it to the point of, of, of self-denial. I can't live this life unless I'm willing to tell myself no. Because if I'm not willing to tell myself no, then I cannot present my body a living sacrifice because he is not going to accept it except it's holy. It has to be acceptable to him. And he made it clear in Torah that he's not accepting a sacrifice that got spot, wrinkle, or blemish, or any such thing. And that's why a lot of people don't come to him because they're being honest with themselves. They're not willing to walk away from what they're doing. And exactly the stuff they're doing is the reason why the world is in the shape it's in. Sin is ugly. Sin destroys. The paycheck for sin is death. And all we see around us is death. Death of the animals, death of the insects, death of the air, death of the water, death of the food, death of the greenery, the plant, the, the plants, the vegetation, people, prisons everywhere, guns and bombs. Some folks' breath stank. <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that in. Imagine the world with no stinky breath. But sin... Sin has destroyed this place, and you got some folks that's not willing to present them bodies a living sacrifice. Now, you got folks that won't admit that it's a, a standard because of false doctrine. Folks won't admit it's a requirement, so we get to do whatever we want to do because it's not a requirement. I'm just a poor little sinner, saved by grace. In other words, I'm scandalous as heck. He's just going to let me into heaven anyway, and people literally believe that. That's why people are so quick to say, ain't nobody perfect. I understand what you mean. I understand. But the standard is without spot, wrinkle, blemish, or any such thing. And he's still returning for Ecclesia, his body, that has no spot, blemish, wrinkle, or any such thing. That's who he's returning for. Those that laid down their life. Those that f obey him. That's who he's returning for. <laughs> hmm. So I'm begging you. I got to beg you because of your evil nature and because of false teachings that's in the land. That's seducing people in the living a life that goes against Yah being promised uh, a, a relationship with him. And it's ju it just don't work, y'all. And it's coming to a head. We see destruction all around us and we just ignore it. Come on. I'm begging you by the mercies of Yah that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy. You got to be holy. You got to be living right. You got to be on Yah's side. Holy. It has to be acceptable in Yah. And, it, and, it, and, it, and it's our, our reasonable service. Look what it's saying. And be not conformed to this world, including the church world. Talking about the church world that um, would take Satan's side in the religious argument that would take Satan's side and say, you shall not surely die. Takes Satan's theology and replace it with the truth of the word that would offer a guaranteed ticket to heaven regardless to how you live it. How many of y'all was raised with that ticket? And be not conformed to this world because ain't nothing in the world but the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. We got, we got to be transformed from that. Oh my goodness. We, 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 and be not conformed. Um, when you get saved, the devil is trying to conform you to this world. 
You're the target. You are the target. That's who he wants. He got the other folks. His bullseye is on Yah's true children. He got to keep you in sin because he know if, 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 if you escape sin, then he got to heal your land. The Most High is going to heal your land. He going to forgive your sins and he's going to heal your land. He's going to forgive your sins and heal your land. If you stop sinning. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I forget their sins and I hear their land. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed, changed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good. Now he's using you to prove him. To prove him is a heck of a responsibility. That means um, we got to endure, persevere through testing and trials, through opposition and persecution. Because we're proving something. In order to prove something, you got to go through the process in order to prove it. It can't be verbal. That's not proving it. That's lip service. In order to prove something, you got to go through it. You got to kick the tires. Carfax. You got to got to look up the Carfax and see what's really going on with the car. You got to test drive it. Cuz we got something to prove. That that you may prove what is good and acceptable in the perfect will of Yah. Um So the thought of 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 being saved Without proving that Yah is alive, a, a salvation that is self-serving, I just want to go to heaven. That's not it. When, when we get saved, we're on Yah's side, and it's revealed to you that there's a war going on, and there's a war between good and evil. Yah and the devil. And when you choose your side, you wake up to find out you were seduced into the army of the devil. You were wicked. And you just switch sides. So now you got to roll up your spiritual sleeve, present your body a living sacrifice on the Yah, and he's going to use you. And the only way you're going to allow him to use you is if you're in love with him. Because if you don't love Yah with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, you are not going to do it. You, you, you would become religious. You would pray sometimes. And, you know, have some, you know, Bible questions and stuff like that. But you ain't going to live it. You ain't going to. You ain't going to. The secret of the right, uh, 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 of, of Yah is with the righteous. There's a secret in a certain way of living. You see things differently. Differently when you get saved for real. You've been bought with a price and you live like that. It sounds good when people say, oh, I've been bought with a price. And they hit their cigarette. <laughs> sound good. I hear you. Oh, I've been bought with a price. Oh, this is my boyfriend. We living together. We go get married. Yeah. It sounds good. And, and it sounds like that's the church way, you know. But now let's get saved for real. The time is far spent. For It's time for us to get saved for real. We, we, we don't have a choice if we're going to make it. It's getting rough, y'all. And be not conformed to this world. How is this world conformed? Is headed in a certain di direction. And, 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 and it's an untoward generation. Untoward Yah. Whatever Yah's about, the world is walking away, running away from him. They now call him good evil and evil good. These are the times we're living in. Where good is evil now. Speak against their sexual activities. 
speak against. You're a hater if you stand up for Yah. You're, you're a straight hater. People will not like you. Will accuse you of being evil. And the masses will join in on that. This is the times we're living in. And he's warning, he's begging you to be not conformed to this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Because you started off with the mind of the world. Remember the fallen nature of humanity. We were born in sin. Yeah. That evil nature we all inherited from our granddaddy. So we cannot be conformed to this world. Can't mess with them. You, you, you rocking with them. You definitely going against, against Yah. The love, the love of the world is, the enemy of Yah. The lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of that, pride of life. That's not Yah. It's other world. So we can't be conformed to this world, but we got to be changed, transformed by the renewing of our mind. Some of us verbally really do love Him. I mean, verbally. Oh man. We exalt him and lift him up, verbally. But our hearts, our hearts is far from him. When you blow on the yah, yah can check you, stop you in your tracks, turn you around, tell you you wrong, make you admit it, and get it right. Yah will change you and be able to use you in these last and evil days to prove that which is good and acceptable, and it, and his uh, his uh, his perfect will, right? Yeah. So you, we can't be conformed to this world. We got to be transformed, changed. There's a way to seem right unto a man, but then there was the ways of death, right? So the way we think, how do you free yourself from how you think? There's a way to seem right unto a man, but the end there was the ways of death. There's something that's killing people and sending them to hell. And what's doing is the way they think. How do you escape the way you think? Especially, how do you escape the way you think when you think how you think is right? There's a way to seem right unto a man, but the end of it is death. So you can roll and happily go to death. Huh. Leave her alone. She ain't cool. <coughs> Don't you talk about my woman. I'm going to marry her. <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't want to do that, man. How dare you? You think it's right, right? How? It only happens for the believer. And it happens for the believer that love the most high with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength. They've graduated from the verbal relationship to a real relationship. And they're willing to present their bodies a living sacrifice and they're willing to be holy. They're, they're, they're willing to change, to go through the metamorphosis process. They don't want to have a form of Yah that is denying the power. They want the real thing and they know what it costs to do it. Self-denial. They know they're going to run into situations where they want to do something and they're going to have the power through his spirit to tell themselves no. And they're willing to do it. Because those that are saved and got his spirit, they got the power to stop. It's just some of them don't want to. They like what they're doing. And we got to get to the point that we like Yah more than we like stuff we like to do. We got to get to the point that we love Yah more than we love the things we do. We got to get to the point that we love Yah more than the people we love. Because that's the only type of sacrifice that's acceptable. You're not acceptable if you have an Elohim, someone more important than you. He's jealous. Put somebody or something before him and you disqualify yourself. Hope you're getting this. You want to be disqualified from presenting your body a living sacrifice? Easy. Just put something or someone before him. Because when you do that, you can't be his disciple. Because you're going to put them before him. And his disciples follow him. And you can't follow him and them. 
So when it comes time to make a choice between him and them, you're going to choose them. Sleep with me. He said, no. Choice. You sleep with them, you chose them over him. Now you can't present your body a living sacrifice. You can't. That's why he begging. I, I, I appreciate his passion about what he's saying, right? He ain't too proud to beg. He's begging because he knows our souls is on the line. Our, li our life is on the line. Uh, the most high put before is life and death. He said, choose life. We're, we're in a life and death type of a situation. You know, praying over your food ain't going to help you now. You know, it's really, you know, before you get in the bed, I lay me now. I lay me down to sleep and pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, pray the Lord my soul to take. Is that a rap? Lip service. So he's begging. By the mercies of Yah, we wasn't qualified to present ourselves, but He qualified us, gave us the tools that He used, the Word. The word was made flesh. He used the word in order to conquer his flesh. And we got the same thing. We had his treasure in earthen vessels. The treasure is the word. More precious than gold and silver. Pearls. The word. What the Most High say, what he created everything with was his word. He's spoken and it happened. Now he's ready to speak life into us. Now we got to mix the word with faith. Hebrews 4 said it. Told on them that was in the wilderness. The gospel was preached unto them as well as unto us, but it didn't profit them, not being mixed with faith. The word was there, but they wouldn't mix it with action. So it didn't profit them, and we got to mix it with action. You want to have a happy, successful life? Put y'all first. Mess around and be willing to put y'all first. Then you can present your body a living sacrifice, and it's going to be holy. It's going to be acceptable onto Yah. And it's reasonable because he already starts spending his mercy on mankind. From day one, he starts he start spending his mercy on mankind and he's still doing it. Are we the type that's going to cash in on his mercy or do we just want to be religious? Finding a ministry that caters to our flesh. Preach a bunch of religious garbage, but a good choir though, huh? We need truth of the word. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. By the mercies of Yah, you're not doing him a favor, you're doing yourself a favor. By the mercies of Yah, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. He's not talking about after you die. So someone can get up and lie. Oh, I remember in 19, 1999, he gave his life to God. So he said, no, 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 no. He better have been obeying the most high when he died. And be not conformed to this world. Remember when uh, the devil uh, took the Messiah on a tour? Testing him. I know you're hungry. You know, testing him. You know, I know you want some fame. You know, test him. I know you want to prove y'all love you. Go on, jump. Testing him. I, that is a test, y'all. Took him on tour and was testing him, but. The, but the Messiah wouldn't give in. Wouldn't, wouldn't. He was that sacrifice without spot, wrinkle, blemish, or any such thing. And now we're supposed to do the same thing. I can't do that. I can't live like that. I can't talk like that. I can't walk like that. I'm not doing it. I'm presenting my body a living sacrifice without spot, wrinkle, or blemish, or any such thing. I got to pray. I gotta fast. I I got I gotta live right. I I, 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 I 
I can't do short of that. I got to stop giving my flesh excuses to kill me. Don't, don't arm your flesh, which is led by the devil, that evil nature, that anti-Yah nature is enmity against Yah. It's not subject to the law of Yah, neither indeed can be. It's not going to obey. So you're going to have to use the Ruach HaKadosh, the greater one that's in you than he that's in the world. You have to use that power that you got after his spirit came upon you. You shall receive power after his spirit come upon you. You need to use that spirit to subdue yourself. We get in certain moods and we get to act a certain way. And they turn into strongholds and you become captive to it. Now you're captive. You, you can't allow that. Your soul is on the line. It's, it, it's, the, it's the Ruah, it's the spirit that destroys the yoke. It's the anointing, the anointing of the spirit, y'all. It's the spirit, the word. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. The word, the, the spirit, the same thing, the anointing. It's the truth of the word. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. It will set you free from the bondage of anything that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah. But the key is we got to love what Yah say more than we love how we feel. You got to continue to follow the word no matter how you feel. Blessed is the man that endureth how you feel. <laughs> For he shall receive a crown of life, which Yah has promised to them that love him. And if you love him, do what he say, regardless of how you feel. I'm begging you. Can I beg you today? <laughs> I'm begging you that you present. Your, oh, I'm begging you by the mercies of Yah. Don't think you're doing him a favor if you stop sinning, if you walk away from sin, if you break up with him, if you get off the dope. Don't think you're doing him a favor. He's doing you one. Please remember that. I might go. I might show up next Shabbat like you're doing him a favor. It's by his mercies that you're able to go. <laughs> In him we live, move, and have our being. Without him, you're nothing. By his mercy. So I'm begging you by his mercy. That you present your body as a living sacrifice. You should be on your best behavior. Preparing yourself for the presentation. Holy and acceptable on the Yah. And it's your reasonable worship. This is the type of worship that's only. That he'll. That, that, that's the only type of worship that, worship that he'll accept. It's the only, only one. Only kind. And it's reasonable. Your reasonable service. And look what he said. And be not conformed to this world. Let this place go. Though we're in the world, we're not of it. We're different. We're saving ourselves from this untoward generation. They're headed away from Yah. You going with them? I'm not. I don't like the direction it's going in. How about you? And then the threat for not going with him is getting bigger and bigger. That's why we need him to dispatch his angel of protection about us, and he will. And he already has to those that love him, those that fear him, respect him, reverence him. Oh, yeah, he protecting them. The devil would have did all kind of stuff a long time ago. It was up to the devil, but Yah said no. <laughs> and be not conforming to this world. Pressure to conform. To dress like him. To walk like them, to talk like them, to live like them, to reject Yah like them. Pressure. Shut your mouth. Don't talk against that. It's, I'll make it a hate crime. Put you in jail, you say that. <laughs> Be not conforming to this world. But be you transformed. You're being changed. Be transformed. The transformation process. You are changing. You might not like the process too much. It might get rough, but look in the mirror. The, the word, the mirror, the word. You're changing, and you're changing for the better. Remember that. Don't let the devil trick you. Some of y'all here at you right now to trick you. He wants you to make that decision, and he's going to snatch your head off.
word says, he that is often reproved will suddenly um, harden their neck and be destroyed and die without remedy. That's what the devil trying to get you to do. Get you tired of Yah's rules and regulations. It's easy to say is 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 man's rules and regulations, right? That's easier. But he's setting you up to destroy you. To stop the transformation process. Be transformed. Transformation process. By the renewing of your mind. That you may prove. You mean to tell me I went from a sinner to prove in the will of Yah? Being a light to a dark world? That you may prove what is good. Y'all know what good is? Yah is the one good. And he's the only one. So we're going to prove him. His goodness, his word, his righteousness. That you may prove what is good. And acceptable. What will Yah accept? Will he accept my attitude? My attitude should be acceptable because it is transformed by his word. I'm going to show the world what's acceptable and perfect. You can't be perfect. We're proving his perfect will. What's the word say? That which is good, acceptable, and the perfect will of Yahuwah. That's big. We got to present our bodies a living sacrifice. Hallelujah. Holy and acceptable. Uh, let's get the spots and blemishes off of us so we can present ourselves holy. Because if we do that, he's going to accept us. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of Yah. That's what he's going to say. Because if we don't, the word proves I'm not accepting it. I'm not, I'm not accepting it, and I'm not accepting you. We got to repent, y'all. And Paul is begging us. How many of y'all ready for a presentation? Me too. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to glean in your word, especially the truth of your word. We've been redundant in the truth of your word about the presentation the only uh, presentation that's acceptable. He's not accepting anything short. That's why in Matthew Yahoo 7 and 21, he let them know, even though you're talking about you, you, you prophesying and casting out devils, doing many good deeds, I don't know you. I don't know you like that. You that live in sin, work, work iniquity. We don't want to be in for a rude awakening. We want to get our presentation together and make sure when we present ourselves to Yah that not only we are living sacrifice, but we, 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 we holy and we're acceptable unto him and it's reasonable. He's not asking too much of us. As much as he gave us, huh, please believe us by his mercies. We need you, Yah, and we pray that we do this in the master's name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Hallelujah and all man. That was a lesson for uh, today. Again, redundancy because we got to peel away from this false religious position. And I'm going to keep doing it until he tell me to stop. I probably dropped before I stop. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Um, push the share button if the lesson blessed you because it could bless somebody else. And if you want to uh, sow into the ministry, be a blessing, you can. All you got to do is go uh, to um, get the cash app and go to uh, dollar sign Yahua. That's Y-A-H-U-A. -A. Again, dollar sign Y-A-H-U-A. And so you see, if you're led to, um, you want to talk about the word, let's do it. 302-202-1102 um, extension 815648 again 302-202-1102 extension 815648 last time 302-202-1102 extension 815648 thanks for uh, chiming in y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom I'm gone